Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been procrastinating for a few days on the video that I have been wanting to film, which is a no buy year update slash life update slash why I canceled my Disney trip slash the future of this channel talky video. And I still, I'm still procrastinating on it. I really need to film this video. There's a lot that I wanna just like sit down and talk with you about. And I'm just having a lot of resistance to like having one of those sit down heart to hearts right now. Blah. So if you're waiting for that video from me, I swear it is coming. I just have to like screw my courage to the sticking place and like put it out there. Uh, but in the meantime, I will film something fun and frivolous and happy, which is a Bibbidi unboxing. This is actually my birthday box. This is my October box. My birthday was October 29th and I know that we're into November now, but um, my birthday's at the very end of October. So I got this like right at the end of the month and this is from the lovely ladies at Bibbidi. This is one of my very favorite Disney subscription services. I'm sure you've heard me talk about it a million times if you've been hanging out on my channel. I will leave a link to their website and my coupon code down below but I'm just gonna open a little belated birthday surprise today while I procrastinate on like getting to the hard stuff. So <laughs> that's just where we're at right now. That is just the theme of 2020 is get through the day even if you can just do a little. So this is what I'm doing. I'm excited to open this. It still has the uh, Halloween packaging. The last Bibbidi box I opened also had this really cute packaging with the cute little uh, Disney treats. And this is my second year in a row now missing the Halloween party, which super bums me out. Not that there was a Halloween party, but the little treats do give me a little like infusion of spooky Disney magic. And let's just go for it. Let's see what's inside, whoa. Looks like it got a little jangled around. So at the very top, I see a card. It says, have the best birthday ever. I think you can see in the background, it's like um, Mickey balloons, the light blue color, Mickey balloons in the background, have the best birthday ever. And then there is a card that says, boo to you. It's really not so scary. And it says, my box was curated with love by Amanda. That's what it says on the back. And then I have a packing slip and then, it says happy birthday on the top of my box. So the birthday that just keeps going and going. Um, I'm gonna open this up. There's some pretty green tissue. And right off the bat, I think I'm seeing what's kind of like the hero item, the designer item of my box. And I think I know what it is. I think it actually matches something I got in my last box. So let's see. It's a fancy, something fancy. It says Danielle Nicole on the front. And yes, it's totally what I thought. It's totally what I thought. It is a Danielle Nicole like mini backpack, mini handbag. And it matches the wallet I got in my last Bibbidi box. And it's Lady. It's so cute. Her ears are so soft. Um, so this is not quite the same as the Loungefly backpacks. They're kind of a different shape and size. I spoke about this a little bit in my last Bibbidi unboxing that of the Disney pantheon of bags. There's Dooney and Burke, Danielle Nicole, and uh, Loungefly, which is very popular right now. And then someone also in the comments mentioned Harvey's Disney bag, so that's also true. Um, but I love Danielle Nicole stuff. And this one is kind of funny because it has these little L's for lady, but it's also kind of like a play on the Louis Vuitton logo. And then on the back, you can see it says Danielle Nicole. There's two straps. Oops, one of them kind of popped out. So there's two adjustable straps. You can wear it like a mini backpack. It has kind of like a nice um, faux leathery finish. And then there is a little pocket. It's so dark. There's a little pocket on the inside, a little zipper pouch here. So very cute. You could probably fit quite a few things in here. The snap is magnetized and then I love her little lady charm. So, oh, I love it. This is adorable. It matches the wallet. I've said this before, but Lady is the Disney dog that reminds me the most of my own dog, Molly, and I'm obsessed with my dog, Molly. They have like the same eyes, like the big blinking eyes, and they have the same demeanor. So 
I see lady, but it makes me think of my own dog, Molly, which is what makes this so special. So thank you. I, I love it. It's adorable. I got to find a way to style this. I wish I was going to the parks like any time in the near future because I don't have that many occasions to wear these bags. Not that I wouldn't wear these out in public. In certain cases I would, but I mean, COVID cases are spiking and I'm not even going out in public really anymore. I mostly just like go around my house. So I'll have to like wear it around my house. Maybe I'll do a photo session with my dog or something. <laughs> I don't know, but it is really adorable. I'm looking forward to having occasions for like Disney bounding and you know, Disney accessorizing again one of these days, but it was just not meant to be in, in the year of 2020. Oh well. Okay, let's see. The next thing I'm seeing is a Funko Pop, and I actually wish listed this item on Bibbidi's wish list feature. I'm not always the best at filling out my wish list, but um, I, I did it once or twice, and um, this is something that I had added to my wish list. And I'm not a big Funko Pop collector um, because I kind of don't know what to do with them all, but I just thought this was super cute. So it's Minnie Mouse as a witch. She is flying on her broomstick. It has a little stand. Can you see in the box? I'm not gonna take it out right now, but there's like a little clear stand. So it kind of looks like she's flying through the air. And this spoke to me for some reason when I saw it. It kind of reminds me of Bewitched the old show, um, Samantha the Witch with um, Elizabeth Montgomery. And they have like the cartoon credits in the opening and she's like perched like this on her broomstick flying through the air and then she does a little nose crinkle, that thing. Um, that's what this reminded me of and I just thought it was adorable. Minnie looks so cute, her eyes are closed. She looks really like classy, <laughs> like a classy sassy witch. And I thought this would be so cute to put out at Halloween time, like maybe on my desk or probably on my desk and Halloween is past, but I'm gonna keep this for next Halloween because I just, there's just something about this, like the aesthetic of this particular Funko Pop jumped out at me. It popped out at me, if you will. God, I'm such a dork. Moving right along, I see three more things in here. Three more things. This is fun. I'm gonna take this out next. It looks like a mystery, mystery pin box. This is from Loungefly, so a Loungefly mystery pin box, and this is the Hocus Pocus mystery set. I haven't opened a lot of mystery pins this year because I've been really trying hard to be on a, on a pin no-buy. I failed a couple times, I'll tell you about it in a different video, but I've mostly been really good. And this is fun, I, um, I like all the pins. I think my favorite one is Binks, but I would be happy with any of these, so. I'm gonna open this now, let's do a little unboxing within an unboxing, shall we? We'll see which character we get. So I'm opening the box. There's a little blind bag inside. And, ooh, we got the Bette Midler witch. What's her name in the movie? I just watched, I watched it twice this year actually and I still can't think of what her name was. Uh, it's the main witch, Bette Midler. What's her name? Just write it in the comments below. I'm sure as soon as I stop filming, I'm gonna remember it. I actually really like the quality of this. There's the little lounge fly uh, stamp on the back. And I like the design and the general aesthetic. I like the little gold uh, in the hair. Uh, it's a high quality pin. I feel like Loungefly has definitely upped their, their pin game. So this is adorable. I'm a, I am a fan and I got, I think, I think I got the best character besides Banks, of course. Speaking of Hocus Pocus and pins, pin-like things, um, the next thing I have is a really cute button. I believe this is by Parkbound. Sometimes they collaborate with uh, various small shops, including Parkbound buttons. I know it's one of their small shop collabs that they do. And this has all three of them. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. This is super cute too. Oh, again, I wish I could like turn back the clock to Halloween seasons of years past and like beam myself to a previous year's Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. But unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to hoard this stuff for next Halloween or next time I get to the parks at Halloween time, and I'm gonna wear it all at once, including all my buttons and pins and my Hocus Pocus backpack and all the stuff. So I like my button and there's one more thing left in my box and I haven't had a really good look at it yet, but I'm kind of excited. So last of all, but not least of all, we have a Tervis tumbler. And I think I saw one of my favorite, 
one of my favorite characters on this. I love the color of this one, by the way. So it is a Tinkerbell Turvis Tumbler. Tink is one of my favorite Disney icons, like of all my favorite Disney ladies. She is up there with Belle and Snow White and Judy Hopps and Tinkerbell and Anna. Uh, she's in the pantheon of favorites for me. And you've got um, the two stars, the second star to the right and uh, her little pixie dust coming off. And this is a nice tall turvis and these are so well made and so good to use. And I'm gonna bring this with me to uh, teach yoga and um, have it around for when I'm working out. And I can put my coffee in here or some water and it's just fabulous. I, I am a big fan and I love when things are also useful. Also, I would like to draw attention to this little visitor who just came to see me, Suki, Suki. That's my cat, Suki. She does not always grace me with her presence, but sometimes she does, Suki. She's like determined not to look at the camera. Okay, so that was everything in my October birthday bibbity box. I loved everything as always. I think that my favorite item is the toss up between the lady backpack and my awesome new Tinkerbell Turvis tumbler. But leave a comment down below. Let me know which item was your fave. And I will also just revisit my packing slip really quick. The total value of this box was $133. One of the lovely things about ordering from Bibbidi is you always get this little extra bump in value that's like above retail value and the curation, um, as I have shown again and again, is um, wonderful and lovely. And yeah, check it out if you haven't yet. I've got a bunch more Bibbidi unboxing videos on my channel. It is a very gray and cold November day here in Minnesota, so it definitely brightened my day to open up that box. And I hope this video brightens your day as well. I will be back hopefully soon with a chatty video about all the things people have been asking me about what happened with the no by ear which i i have a lot that i want to say about that and i keep formulating it in my mind um why i canceled my disney trip uh some of my future thoughts about this channel 2020 has really been a year of change i think for many people i know that many things in my heart and in my mind have changed this year. Like there's been a lot of transformation, um, I think externally and internally for a lot of a lot of people. And I just want to talk a little bit about some of that in a future video. I also have a couple other fun goodies to share, like not so heavy things that I want to share with you. So I will do my darndest to quit procrastinating and hop back in front of my camera as soon as I can screw up my courage to chat with you and in the meantime I hope you are having a magical day and a magical fall Thanksgiving is coming the best holiday I hope that you have magical animals in your life if you're not able to see some of the people in your life in person my animals have truly been like the saving grace of 2020 and just the weirdness of life right now um yeah I'm sending you a lot of love we're all in this together have a magical day and I will see you real soon bye guys Mwah! should we try to say hi should we try to say hi she just does not want to make eye contact today say hi Suki say hi <laughs> oh she's just really not that into it bye bye Bye.